All right, back at the 40. We're going to start stripping this, this down, I think. Take off everything we can. Let's go. We've got a bit to learn about this 40. So we're going to pull the door off, but the first thing we need to do is undo this. Do you want to show them, Andy? <laughs> so undo this here, we'll just undo this bolt here, pull that out, move that out of the way, and then we can undo the door. Let's do that. 12 and a 10. coming in to take the door off. So I restored this double plate holder. That was the first thing I ever restored. I didn't film any of it or do any of it then. I wasn't uh, into that, but this was all rusted all through here. This was missing one of these. All these bowls were destroyed, so I got uh, another one that was all chopped up. Cut them up, welded them together, and um, painted them up, and they came up really nicely. So, came up so nice, I thought I would restore the entire FJ. And now it's turning out to be a massive job. But anyway. How many years will you think it will take? How many years will this take? Yeah. Oh, it could take me ages. So you need a third bead. We'll come back to get the four tapes. Need it. Either. Okay, here you go, Dad. Someone's put a little switch in here. What does that do? I have no idea. Nothing, because it's got no wiring to it. Right, eh? let's get this uh, roof off. Right, inside the roof getting the roof off don't forget about the bolts hiding up behind this lip it's very easy to forget and you try to pull the roof off and you can't get it off is that screws if you don't know what he's doing he's taking off the roof <laughs>
All right, we're still stripping the 40 down. So we're going to take the seats out so that, um, well, they need repair and I'll show you where. It's a little bit concerning actually, considering that the seats are a major safety device. But have a look. All right, so at the back of my seat, uh, I've got a bit of aluminium brace here because this brace here is broken. So we'll repair that, make sure that's the correct brace that goes along there. Uh, now here, I'm not sure what's supposed to be here, but we'll find out because that's pretty crucial. They've got a bit of gal folded up with some tech screws in it and a broken bolt. And the same over here, a bit of gal, a couple tech screws and nothing holding it in. The back of this was not even bolted down. Um, considering I was driving this when I first bought it. Another one of the little uh, dodgy repairs by the previous owner. Hang on a second. Oh no, I've got a nut and bolt on it. She's still finger loose. So, I was driving this with um, one bolt holding this driver's seat down. Bugger. <laughs> Right, so now I've got the seats out. You can see there's stuff like this, it's just dodgy. Um, there's no protection on these wires at all, which I'm not sure those wires are yet. I'll have to trace them back, find out what they are. Oh look, made some money back on my car. 20 cents. crunchy rust cut it out back here cut that whole piece out we can make that piece and that piece will go there which is made by Holmes very clever man shout out to Holmes 